Entertainment Buddha here. Just want to bring you a quick video demo of an Xbox Live widget slash app for the Android platform. Uh, this thing's super solid. I wrote an article on the beta version a couple weeks ago, and now I finally forked out the whopping 99 cents to get the pro version. So I just want to kind of step through that and show you what we're dealing with. So. First things first, I got this running on a Droid X. Um, the icon isn't as cool as the beta, but I can't, who really gives a shit about the icon, you know what I'm saying? So, the app I'm talking about right here is Xbox Live Statistics. I don't know if you can really see it that well, but um, that's the icon. Uh, so, if we fire that up. You can see it's got a really nice user interface here. It's got your most recent played games, has your avatar, which if you haven't seen, mine's pretty freaking awesome. Um, it lists your Xbox bio status like that, you know, your little saying. Then here you got your friends, messages, and whatnot. So the way this thing works is you can navigate screens with gestures so if you slide over there you can see you have your game list so it has all your games and the achievements you have for those games if you click on a game it will bring up the achievements you've co completed with the icons you can click on it again and look for a guide which isn't working at this time you can um, ones that you do not have done yet you can actually set as an in progress uh, sorry I had to throw my cat uh, in progress so if you have an achievement that you need you can go to one of these that isn't filled in yet So like this one, you can go here and set it as in progress. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, it's all navigated with gestures. So if I slide back, I go back a screen. If I slide again, I go back to the home screen. If I do a slide this way, it brings up my friends list um, with the two people that are on right now and then everyone else. You can add friends. Okay, by just putting in a gamer tag, you got the refresh over there. Uh, you also can do messaging. So if you slide up, if you slide up, you can check messages. You can compose messages, read messages, whatever. It's pretty slick. Again, slide this way to go back. Uh, you can see on the main screen, you also have indicators for friends and then messages here. You can also, this is kind of neat, you can edit your motto, name, location, and bio on the fly from this app as well. Uh, so that's pretty solid. Um, the app also comes with four widgets, okay? So I'll kind of show you some of the widgets here. Uh, this one right here, which you can not really see. This is a Xbox Friends widget, which will notify you when your friends get online or whatever friends you selected to get online. Uh, if you can see, you also get a notification when someone comes online. And there's a, I don't know if you can see it, but the little Xbox logo's up there when someone comes on. So that's kind of cool to see what buddies are on or gamer friends and see what you're missing out on. Uh, the other widgets I use, there's a messaging widget. Again, um, kind of plain looking, but it does the job. And then this one right here, this bad boy, is one of the achievement widgets. So uh, there's different templates. I just have the green stock going. But you can see it shows my, my avatar, gamer score, name. I can also click on that to actually launch the app. Uh, it also supports widescreen, which is kind of neat. So you can kind of look at it this way. 
You can check out your friends, all their little avatars. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, you can also look at your games in um, landscape mode as well. So overall, for 99 cents, this thing's pretty badass, I must say. It's a great way to know when your friends are online, how to keep track of your achievements compared to your friends, uh, so on and so forth. Plus, who doesn't like to show off their avatar? Alright, that's it for now. Thank you for coming by to EntertainmentBuddha.com. You know we make you a better geek one post at a time.